Hello there, it's the Archivist from TradingCardArchives.com. I'm back to do a weird video. I'm not sure what to expect from this. Uh, this box I've been uh, <laughs> a little bit scared to open, to be honest. I, I've had it on the shelf for about a month now and keep looking at it and thinking like, I should open this, but also I hope I want to. <laughs> but then again, oh. Let's get, we'll talk about why in a second, but first let's look at our top cards for the day. As you know, I like to keep track of my favorite cards as I open across all the videos I shoot during a day. That way I can kind of have, you know, a bird's eye view of sort of how I'm doing. If I, am I pulling better cards? Are they changing? Uh, and so the last video we opened a bunch of Conan, uh, Detective Conan cards from Little Frog. Unfortunately, none of those uh, took the prize, so these remain our top cards. So this is an MLR from not Pokemon. I mean, it looks like Pokemon, but that is not. Uh, that is Cardmon, which is totally different, and not Digimon either. This is Kmon's Cardmon. So Kmon is the company that makes this, and there's a whole series of these, and they're honestly way better than I thought they would be. Uh, I ended up buying more right after filming that video, but that's my top card right now. Uh, second place is another really weird thing. Uh, this is an LR from Hero Battle, but not Marvel Hero Battle. So it is Kaio, and it's Hero Battle. Same rules, uh, same you know markings, rules, sets, attack power, defense power. Everything's the same, but the artwork and style is from the Three Kingdoms era of China. And so this is the Legend of Qin, a hero battle sort of offshoot uses the same rule system but has a different card back uh, and a different set of cards and they use artwork based on the three kingdoms era but not the three kingdoms artwork that's a completely separate kayo tcg gosh that's confusing kayo has two three kingdoms tcgs <laughs> okay anyway <laughs> both of them seem like they never got more than one release i don't think it, it, they were very popular but uh, they exist Anyway, so moving on to this. Uh, so this is Gossip Knight. Gossip Knight is one of a handful of male waifu sets. I know that just conceptually seems strange. Uh, it, I probably, it is strange. It seems strange to me. They exist, right? I mean, why wouldn't they? <laughs> so, if, if you know what, what a waifu card is, uh, yeah, maybe I have one. So of course I have a bunch here, uh, but yeah, like a waifu card is, <laughs> here's one, pretty good one anyway. Um, so this is a, a waifu card. This is a KWR rarity card from Chainsaw Man. Uh, it's a numbered card to 399. But yeah, that is a waifu card. So you see it has a character, in this case, Higashi Higashiyama from Chainsaw Man, but she is in suggestive clothing or in a suggestive pose, right? So it's not quite like not it's not like pornographic or anything, but it's suggestive, right? Not safe for work. That's a waifu card. And waifu is a term that plays on the term wife, right? So you're supposed to think that maybe that could be my wife, right? And so everyone picks that. Um, Gossip Night is the same thing, but with male. So these are male anime characters in suggestive clothing and suggestive poses which, which i think is awesome so I, I picked one up now i said it's a handful because there are others so this isn't the only uh, male waifu set that exists uh, there are other ones looks like we're getting like 16 packs you know it's a weird number of packs Let's count them. Two, three, four, uh, five. One, two, three, four, five. Four, five. Yeah, 16 packs. That's such a strange number of packs. I've never seen that before in a set. Uh, let's check it under there. Uh, why don't we open then three of them, I guess? <laughs> it's Maybe four. Let's open four. It's 16, so we can open a fourth of them. We'll open four of these, and we'll save the rest for later. I 
mean, obviously, I'm going to use those in, like, uh, waifu battles and things, because they're... You'll see, it basically is waifu cards, just with male characters. It's going to be... Uh, it's going to be wild. So here's our set. Again, it's called Gossip Knight. Uh, printing quality on the back here looks pretty bad. So just off the bat, we're not in great printing territory, but let's see if we can do better. Um, this company, we've actually opened a few sets from. We, we know that logo. Uh, how many cards do we get in a pack? Oh, okay. looks like they're very thin cards. Oh, we're going to get three in a pack. That's not too bad. And these are much better than I thought. Uh, gosh, I'm always pleasantly surprised, but I mean, that looks great, doesn't it? And that is Akashi Uniyuki. I am not, I mean, it's what it says anyway. Let me go just, I'll go look up who this is just so we can get it going. Uh, and I'll be right back. All right, so if there's a letter missing, the, there's a K kind of hidden back there, but it's a it's Akashi Kuniyuki, and he's from a, a, an online game, Tenbu Online. So that's where that guy's come from. Here's another one. This is... Re okay, so yeah, you'd be able to look all these up if you didn't know them. I mean, you might know some. I don't know this character offhand. These SRs are base cards, even though they they look really, really nice. They are just base cards. Here's something a little bit higher up. This is a um, a man? Man? Yeah, man rarity card, M-A-N. <laughs> I love it. It's great. I, I don't know what that means. Uh, but who is that? That's Bleach, right? I'm pretty sure that's Bleach. Where are my characters from Bleach? Oh, I'm probably wrong. Uh, if I'm, yeah, someone will comment and let me know. But I always get characters wrong. I'm really bad at guessing, guessing them. So that, see, I mean, you can't complain about this. If you like the waifu cards, you have to accept this. Like, you know, there are hundreds of waifu cards where she's holding her shirt up, biting it in her mouth like that. That's just a dude doing it. There shouldn't be anything wrong with that if you're okay with the waifus. It's a challenge, right? Challenge. You've got a, a challenge, an acceptance challenge, basically. Oh my. Okay. That is heating up now. Uh, so that's another man card. And bordering on Yaoi now, which is interesting to say the least. What a neat thing. Uh, what a crazy thing to have. I don't know. I, I suspect this video won't be very popular if I had to guess, but I, you're missing out. The cards are, are not terrible, and it is, again, a very unique thing to have, right? Remember, at the archives, we're trying to build sort of the most diverse representative trade card trading card collection ever made, right? And so that's kind of the goal of the whole project. So something like this in there is, you know, ultimately necessary, right? I need to have this kind of variety. I just love how their names are like signed on each one too. Very cool. Honestly, that is very cool. Uh, so here's another one. Oh, sorry. Uh, so this is a UR, and it's kind of a... I guess has like a Nintendo Switch sort of on it, <laughs> kind of looking thing. I mean, the characters kind of a game, I guess. Mm -hmm. That's a UR. This is uh, probably one of the crazier things I've ever opened. I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of shocked that this exists, to be honest. <laughs> How cool. Yeah. 
and there's a well this is an SSR although it's acting the way a QR would in any other set QRs are usually these chibi cards like this all right so there is Gossip Knight, at least four packs of it. Kind of get an idea of what's in there. <laughs> and it is exactly what it says on the box. These are 100% male waifu cards, exactly what we were looking for. Uh, let's check out the hit pack and then yeah, we'll be done with that. Uh, if you do like this set, C1 Luxury Store has it on sale. You can get four boxes of it for like. $45 or something, so um, it's very cheap right now. This is neat. This is an LR. Such a cool artwork. Oh, I love the foiling on that, too. That is great. What a cool, what a like, really cool set. Well, I'm happy with it. I know it's probably not going to be everyone's favorite, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm definitely happy with that. That turned out perfect, I think. Great looking set. Uh, nice, nice set of cards. And, uh, yeah, no complaints at all. Well, and with that, I will end this video here. And probably I'm going to stop filming for the day now. I've got, I think, four done, and I can do two more tomorrow. No problem. Uh, so yeah, this was a lot of fun. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And, you know, let me know what you think about this kind of thing. I, Honestly, it's weird for me too, so, <laughs> but you know, we're going to look at it anyway, because uh, I think it belongs in the archives, and the quality is there. These are nice, high-quality cards. There's no quality issue, at least. Uh, okay, I'll talk to you later, and goodbye.